Aloha mai kako. You are watching Hawaii Political Reporter. Aloha, and thank you for watching Hawaii Political Reporter. We appreciate it, and the show will be constantly evolving, and we believe by the end of the year you'll be very happy with what you're getting, not only information, local, state, national, international, but uh, hopefully tips and things that will bring us forward to a better productive life and more fulfillment and hopefully a happier, better political situation. I'd like to appreciate and thank you for Joe Kent. I believe Kent J1 who's commenting and uh, appreciate your input on the show. Okay, let's get to it. So first we're going to start with some local news, and this is basically going to be a bit on the fracking and geothermal. We won't go too in-depth if you uh, have, aren't following it. Uh, as you may know, that uh, Punapono Alliance and Occupy Hawaii are doing, and many others, are doing some great work around here. And this is a little bit from the Punapono Alliance from their website. I'd just like to bring you up to speed again that they are anti-fracking. Uh, you know, it's not well, as we get into the environmental segment, we'll talk a little bit more about that and why, it, you know, even for a libertarian, they may not wish to consider the fracking in some circumstances, you know. Uh, but uh, basically what Punapono is doing is it's a community based organization and they are out there uh, testifying at the community account uh, that the county council and having workshops and uh, bringing people into awareness as I was brought in. It's a great organization, honest people, local grassroots. We highly suggest you check them out. And uh, on their uh, current web uh, page, they have a couple things that you might be want to be aware of. Uh, basically, there's a lot of ways you can help. Come to the Tuesday meeting at the Hawaii Academy of Arts and Science, which is in Pahoa. And again, this is punaponoalliance.com org i believe it might be dot com but i for sure dot org i'm pretty sure and you could check it out and um also you know again testimony is really good and uh, they're working again to keep things honest and you know straightforward around here on our local territory and uh, hopefully going up because that's really the only thing you can influence from the bottom up because obviously at a national level we have very little chance directly at least this is a statewide news i would point you to the hawaii free press as you may know, I'm essentially anti-GMO in a sense, okay, not uh, the technology as a whole, but open field transgenic from huge multinational predatory companies such as Monsanto. I don't think that's cool, and I don't think it's productive for us. But if you want to see the other side of the story, and there are always two sides of the story, or if you're conservative and you want to follow what's happening, because most of the conservatives are theoretically going for this, which I can't understand because it's a top-down big government a de facto approach. But uh, Hawaii Free Press, uh, Friday, October 18th, and others, they show co co supposedly Kauai submits to mob rule. Again, this is regarding the GMO. <laughs> Sorry, the mob are the people in this case, and if they are you know, involved enough to show up to break from their work and stuff, I think it tells you that it's an important uh, thing to them. So mob rule, yeah, only when it's against what you wish, right? Again, I thought the conservatives were for limited government, or are you from top-down, you know, uh, government is that what you want to me mob rule versus criminal rule because that's what it is at the top and you know multinational conglomerates and oligarchs in fact we'll be having something coming up which is an amazing uh and you might want to check it out it's on greg hunter's channel he had no it wasn't on greg hunter's it was karen hudis and i'll be putting the link in and bringing this soon and it's amazing she comes up with a statement that 60 percent of the world's corporations are controlled by a few uh, multinational conglomerates and she'll bank basically the bankers of course and she'll point that out it's well worth uh, dealing with and we'll be having that coming up soon uh, she was if you don't know who she is she was one of the people at the World Bank and she's a whistleblower going on to the United States news hey here's some wonderful positive news no not really and I don't think it's going to surprise any of us and this is from uh, CNS news and this is dated October 18th in 23 advanced economies, U.S. adults rank 21st in math skills. This is really good. You know, people, honestly, out there, math is critical if you're going to do any science. I mean, it doesn't have to be calculus always, but at least basic math. And it's, uh, it gives you the quantification and even for the economics. So please, if you're not doing it or you know others, get them into math because numbers speak volumes that bs and politics can't numbers are the really the truth okay in most cases and anyways by the way japan is number one finland number two flanders belgium number three netherlands etc on down 
And, you know, again, we're number 21 out of 23. I think only the Philippines and or something like that was lower than us, you know. Not many. Okay, going on to Nash to world news. Gunman in clown suit kills senior Mexican drug cartel member. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is not, okay, basically obviously snuck in under a pretense. This is I'm just bringing this in up in a way, an imaginative way to get into those, you know, places you need to be not to kill anybody, of course, but to maybe make your point with some of these dirty politicians and stuff. And there are others out there doing it. Um, I'll be bringing some of them. There's, if you go to dailypaul.com, there's a lot of guys. I think it's Matt. Uh, I forget the guy's last name, but he's out there, and he's really putting it to him. And he'll give him a little, you know, whoopee cushion uh, seat there. Hey, you know, wake up, guy. Okay, you know, we're, you know, some of us are aware of what's happening. Okay, this is a poor guy in Iran. This is, if you may be following this, this is all on the news. This one's from Breitbart. Judge says Iranian man who survived execution must be hanged again. What a bummer. What a cruel bummer. My God, can you imagine going through that twice? Anyways, in the next cup day later in The Guardian, it says hope for Iranian who survived botched hanging a Sharia expert doubts ruling. You can pray for that, man, because whatever happens, this is over a drug offense, probably trying to, you know, keep his... Uh, drug smuggling, whatever, probably trying to keep his family alive, you know, going because it's like there and a lot of other places like here, it's not the the greatest economy. So, uh, you know, pray for that man's soul because that's a tough gig, man. Executed twice for the same thing. That's got to be scary. And now from our science and potential paradigm shifting segment, We are going to look at UCSD Student Test Fire's 3D printed metal rocket engine. This is from October 12th in gizmag.com. And this is pretty amazing. You know, there's a lot of people saying that 3D printing is going to be the next big breakthrough in humanity or certainly the next big breakthrough technology-wise. And that's a good possibility. This is an amazing application, and there's a lot of great software out there if you haven't been using it to make 3D components. And uh, it's a good thing to go. I mean, it's just... Is hope for America, especially if we can get a little bit of math and science education behind it. And now from our urgent and important news segment, abbreviated UGG, because that's about what it is. We are getting another UGG thrust upon us, and I think many of us, even potentially some of those who were initially supporting it, would feel that way about Obamacare. Oh, yippee! Let's take a little look at this. First off, from National Review Online, dated October 21st. Consumer reports, stay away from healthcare.gov. Oh, boy, I wonder what that is. I think many of us know that that's been a total failure. It's probably a scam and very dangerous. Certainly the NSA is going to track you. There was a good article on that in the Daily Paul about uh, 7, 10 days ago. About uh, if you, Once you get there, that's basically they're going to set you up with your Social Security number and track you. They're on. You can just say, hi, big brother, here I am. Come get me. Follow everything I'm doing, you know. If I happen to breathe the wrong way or think the wrong thoughts, I'm a bad boy and I deserve big punishment. Okay, here's another one from the Daily Paul, dated 1021. And this is, holy cow, Obamacare fine, not 95. This man goes on to basically say repercussions portion for your non-payment. Basically, if you don't make it, he's saying uh, first your driver's license will be suspended until paid. And if you go 24 consecutive months with non-payment and you may happen to be a homeowner, you will have a federal tax lien place on your home. And blah, 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 penalties they have, etc. And he says this is not affordable and, uh, you know, not helping. And this is very true. Now, who knows that this is the truth in every case? You have to look these things up. But it's, I'm sure they might be, somebody might be trying to scare you into this, uh, certainly wanting your data you know, and your acquiescence. And on the reverse side of this was an st- outstanding comment. And, it's, uh, and basically, if you don't know, I think most of us do know, the American Indians and the Native peoples in general, but certainly here, have been given a real rough break here. Uh, it's a great... Uh, the 500 nations, if you really want to see what happened, the truth. I, I'm part Italian, and I have part Native American in me. And I'll tell you, I will never celebrate Columbus Day again. That man was evil. And, and it's not just what they did. It's how they did it. And uh, anyway, the rate I'm trying to say beyond that, you know, the American government promised all kinds of things for the Native Americans as they took their land. They would give them a reservation and take care of them and all this. But, of course, that never happened. They were horribly treated. And for Henry Ford says, basically this was regarding the Obamacare, it says, a quote that says it all, any man who thinks he can be happy and prosperous by letting the government take care of him 
had better take a closer look at the American Indian because if you're if that's the case now some people I've helped the person off welfare when I you know, with one of my previous companies I got that man going I'm sure he's doing quite well now and you know if anybody's needing help email me or whatever we'll you know we're going to start bringing segments how to become more self-sufficient I mean he may not be able to get wealthy but it's not that difficult to be productive and to make you know some kind of a living certainly not having to be dependent upon government from the irs.gov publications p510 this is on but believe it or not in obamacare uh, this sounds amazing and you can check it out yourself it's on the irs side or from there part of the obamacare uh, taxes include basically taxes for the medical devices are on sporting fish sport fishing equipment fishing rods and fishing poles, fishing tackle boxes, bows, quivers, broadheads and points, arrow shafts, coal, taxable tires, gas guzzler automobiles, and vaccines. Thank you, Obamacare. Just what we need. Another freaking tax on stuff that is, I, I mean, you could almost make no connection. Oh, yeah, I guess the, there's a lot of accidents from guys getting an arrow through their body every year, so we should tax them. This is ridiculous. I mean, what a freaking total crock. Even if you were for this, all the lies and the way it's being done is just incredible. Okay, for Obamacare woes widen as insurers get wrong data. Ha! Marketwatch.com. That's uh, October 18th. Surprise, surprise. Sibelius, Sibelius, or Sibelius, or I could others say some other things on the run. The HSA secretary refuses to test about testify about the Obamacare roll-off. That's on on online Wall Street Journal. Ah, just doesn't want to testify. Sibelius to attend gala, but unable to testify about Obamacare. Now, look, it, I know she's probably getting a shaft on this, but, hey, you were one of those Nazis, you know, to go in there and try to pull this thing and perpetrate your crimes, okay, and force unwilling, you know, force on American people. So take a little of that, you know, wonderful cow manure yourself because you're dropping quite a bit on others. So isn't it a little bit fair, Miss Sibelius? So Oprah, even Oprah isn't on board with Obamacare. Basically, the New York Post.com dated October 20th. You can see a little bit of that. What that is all about is basically going on to, you know, another user abuser. Part of what that is is I think she knows this is a rotten as it gets, but also, you know, another use and abuse person and uh, not treat them good. My point here I'd like to say is, you know, if, you, if anybody you work with, treat them good. Because otherwise, eventually, I mean, it's only right, but also eventually it's going to come back to bite you. And here's exactly when Mr. Obama could be using a little help now, and he ain't going to get it from someone who could be helping him a lot. All he had to do is be a little bit more kind and not a little less arrogant, I'm sure. Now, here's one, okay? Canada has death panels. This is from Slate.com, dated, and basically they say, and that's a good thing, you know, only a freaking nut could say that, honestly. Who the heck? I mean, what the heck is this? Look it. If it's a voluntary program that you get into, okay, and you decide to buy into that and they limit out your insurance, that's really one thing, okay? But if it's an involuntary system and you have no alternative and then they're going to kill you, that's really quite another. I mean, that's you're, you're getting forced into a choice literally with your life being on the line. This is incredible. It's, it's freaking evil. OK, now, don't get me wrong. We need to do something about the health care costs, which, of course, they, you know, the Democrats. And again, I'm, I'm independent, but the Democrats essentially have hoisted this problem upon us and the Republicans and nobody else will dare touch it. So that's the one thing I can give them. They were trying to do something potentially, even though I think there's much more nefarious reasons than actually getting to the incredible cost, because as most people know, this is the largest component of our budget and deficit is the Medicare. Okay, that's the big problem. Something needs to be done with it. Okay, now going on to our second segment in the UG. Uh, something potentially very scary. I don't know what to make of it. I haven't had the time to go in depth, but basically this is from Infowars.com by Anthony Gutiardi, dated October 11th of 2013. Top nuclear commanders terminated following nuclear missing nuclear warheads report. Now, basically, a nuclear warhead has been missing, and Obama has been firing a lot of generals, and a lot of things have been happening. This is supposedly on uh, also followed up list of U.S. military generals and admirals fired by Obama, 1015 on the dailypaul.com. 
Uh, something's going on there, okay? And either way, if it was an incompetence on our staff or he's purging because they're trying to pay a little game somewhere, who knows? But this is one to watch. Uh, you know, and there have been people, uh, in fact, uh, Colonel Potter, if you ever, <laughs> no, no pun intended, but there is a real Colonel Potter on, the, on eBay, excuse me, on um, YouTube, if you look at him. Uh, he's a military intelligence officer, and he says that the Boston bar- bombing was uh, rogue elements uh, or something gone awry in the U.S. government. And, you know, uh, who knows what's going on. But if you believe in conspiracies, as I do somewhat, unfortunately, I've resisted them most of my life, but it's just too overwhelming. Uh, that's something to be watched about and scared. So uh, Infowars.com, of course, would be a great place to go for that. One thing I'd like to say quickly, and we're going to go into this, you know, InfoWars is really a lot too much sometimes. They're very good, very useful for all of us. But one thing they don't put in context is our reaction enough. I mean, there may be a lot of evil out there, but that doesn't mean it's going to win. And that doesn't mean that we don't have a say in it. So keep your chin up and let's fight it. We, we, we can prevail, or at least certainly not necessarily by default go down. <laughs> All right, moving on to our civil liberties, police brutality, police state, big brother segment. Basically, we are going to start off with the LibertyBlitzkrieg.com, dated October 15, 2013. Glenn Greenwald, the most shocking stories have not been published. Is this why he left The Guardian? We're going to have a lot coming up about media soon. But believe me, I'm sure the most shocking have not been published, and we'll start to get some summary of this now. And the Reuters.com on the 21st of October, France summons U.S. ambassador over spying report. Oh, we're spying on the French. Oh, wee wee. Okay, France and Mexico seek answers after shocking U.S. spy claims. This is on Connect with. This is France24.com. We have fresh leaks. This is their Spiegel, the Germans. Uh, Fresh leak on U.S. spying. NSA access Mexican president's email. Very respectful. Very good. I mean, we really are having the moral authority with our freedom and democracy and honesty and decency. Good old American apple pie here, right? Good going, guys. Your administration and your paranoia excessive of course for your reason is because it's deserved because most of your criminals and crooks well you know it's reflecting badly on the rest of us okay nsa director keith alexander and deputy expected to depart in early 2014 this is the guardian.com ho 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 we've made progress but we'll be will be be going from the pot into the frying pan let's see we'll find out Okay, Snowden says he took no secret files to Russia. This is the New York Times.com on the 17th of October because obviously I don't believe he was trying to betray us at all and it would be the end of his butt if ever it was discovered he did take it. God knows what they're going to try to do for the man. Pray for him, seriously. This is a genuine hero. We need to pray for him. Okay, new EU rules to curb transfer of data to U.S. after Edward Snowden revolution, rev, revelations. This is The Guardian, and this is dated October 17th. So now not only have you wasted billions of dollars on spying upon us, broken the Constitution, and you know broken productivity, now you're killing American business because others don't want to be part of that. Thank you, Obama. Thank you, NSA. Thank you, you know, chicken hawk BS Republicans and all you warmongers. No, thank you. Leave us alone and don't do this. It's wrong. Okay. Malay fund managers to move service to Russia amid Dodge NSA tech uh, trend. This is on RT. How the NSA scandal is rolling the Heritage Foundation. Here's a conservative foundation now being run by Jim DeMent, who I think is a pretty damn good guy. And, uh, you know, this is uh, one of those things, you know, the conservatives, most of them are about security and the military industrial complex. I don't think they really understand. It's amazing what they're what what they're going for. But, uh, you know, that's what it is. And the Heritage Foundation, this is a good sign that, you know, there is some revolt going on in the uh, conservatives. And I think actually a lot of them are coming around to realize this is way out of line. Here's a man we need to thank. This is from the Daily Poll on Thursday, 1010. And this is CEO who refused to cooperate with Fed snooping now free. This was Joseph Naccio, and he's had a he was spent about five years in jail. 
Uh, basically, he was the CEO of, Q, of Quest Communications, and he refused to do their spying, and, you know, they set him up with some charge likely. The man is out. He's a real hero. So that's, that's a man to be thankful and pray for because there are good people out there, and, you know, probably you are, and I, I believe I'm one of them. So here's the last thing we're going to do on this particular segment, which is a Big Brother watch, and this is from the Mail Online, DailyMail.com. Most epic read of our time, it's not classics, Bill Wolf or War and Peace, but Google's terms and conditions, say scientist. The point is human decency and respect. Now, look at obviously Google via YouTube is giving, allowing this program to be on the Internet. There's a lot of good that they have brought. I've mentioned before, and I'll mention it again, DuckDuckGo and StartPage.com if you want something more private. You know, Google's chairman, our CEO, Smith, is probably uh, another NSA warmonger type. I don't know what the rest of the company is, but I would be very cautious with what I do with Google or any of these ones trying to accumulate your data and make profiles out of you. This is not positive. And, yes, even you who may be thinking this administration is doing right, what happens when the next administration comes in and gets a hold of that data and you happen to be on their list? It's not a good thing. Moving on to civil rights. Police prevent homeless man from free coding lessons. Confiscate laptop. This is a man who is trying to learn how to, you know, write software and basically trying to move himself up. The police didn't like that. I guess he was homeless or whatever and, you know, too much of a celebrity. So that's October 14th in the activist post.com. Video. Very disturbing. Dallas cop shoots mentally ill man standing perfectly still. This is on InfoWars, October 18th, 2013. Very, very disturbing. Look at the police have a tough job, but this is this is obviously excessive training. And if they can, and I know myself, I've taken the test, and I am a licensed firearm instructor. A knife at 20 feet or under is extremely dangerous, but this this is inexcusable. It really is. Okay, ATF threatens French-style firing squad for agents who leak secrets. Oh, this is very good. Leak a secret, die. Yeah, because everything they're doing is so good and needs to be protected. It's all, all for our benefit. That's the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, by the way. And this is in the WashingtonTimes.com, dated October 15th. Cleveland Police, deadly chase. This is a review of 63 police officers who violated apartment orders and department rules, and if they basically chased a driver for 23 minutes and fired 137 shots at him. If you want to see more about this, go into MyFoxNews, MyFoxNewYork.com, and this is posted October 15th. Cleveland Police Deadly Chase. Okay, moving on, or more a little bit more on Big Brother, we now have Jeff Sessions. This is a senator, a fairly decent guy, I think, overall. At least from what I can follow, I haven't followed in too much in-depth. ICE officers report that violent criminals are released every day back into communities, and they even sued the DHS secretary himself over the non-enforcement directives they have received. And basically this is about the nomination of uh, Mr. Johnson, who's going to be the new Obama point man, uh, political payback, and another, you know, for the Department of Homeland Security, I believe. Is he the guy? It's, or one of these agencies, one of these Nazi Gestapo agencies uh, that they're laying on us. Okay, civil rights. Texas gun owners stage rally at the Alamo. U.S. News. NBC. News. Com. Dated. Ooh, I believe this is ten nineteen. So basically, the basically they went to do what they are allowed to do, even though the police are and the county is. I mean, this is a civil right. This is in the Constitution to be able to open carry arms in a peaceful fashion, and the police thankfully didn't uh, go after them. But, uh, you know, people are standing up. We need to stand up for our rights. We need to do it smartly. We're going to talk about Adam Kokesh a little later. Very unfortunate situation. And I haven't forgotten about him, and I'm going to be doing as much as I can for him soon. Uh, we haven't forgotten about you, Adam. We love you out there. We think you're a brave man, and at least a lot of us do. And even if you may be wrong on this or we don't like you on other things, you'll, come on, let's give it to the man. He's in there, you know, trying to do something to promote freedom and liberty for us. Armed protest at the Alamo ends quietly. This is MySanAntonio.com. And this is from the DailyPaul.com on the 21st. Massive turnout to heavily monitored Alamo Constitution rally. No filming cops. They can film us. We can't film them. Their behavior is perfect. You know, we have civil rights to be abused, but they don't. This is a public place. Sorry, police state. You need to be monitored, too. You know, if you can monitor us, we should be monitoring you. Civil rights. North America's largest city moves to legalize pot. This is the Mexico City, and this is at Infowars.com on October 15th of 2013. 
Though deprived of sunlight and breathing the smog-ridden air of Mexico's mountain capital, marijuana plants from a strain known as Purple Kush reach 0.9 meters in a brick home, blah, 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 goes on. Basically, they're getting smart, and they want to cut the drug war down because a lot of it is over marijuana. It's ridiculous. I've never smoked it in my life, but, you know, from what I hear and what I believe and what I, you know, even down to the Founding Fathers, the evidence is there. Hemp, at least, you know, is a very, very uh, useful product, and we should be growing that. we got to get over this, America. Come on. Okay, documents reveal NSAs. Now we're on to our conspiracy segment. This is Infowars.com on October 17, 2013. Documents reveal NSA's extensive involvement in targeted killing program. There we go, NSA, Big Brother conspiracy. Have you any doubts? I mean, we're going to get into this more at some, but, I mean, if you honestly believe the government is not doing that with all the evidence around Here's one. This may be out there. I'll admit that, but I'm going to read it anyways. DailyPaul.com, dated Thursday, 10-10-2013. But remember, we just said, and we have evidence of the NSA, is not to targeted killings. Ex-CIA agent claims Obama killed Breitbart and Clancy. The Breitbart thing was very questionable. If you want to follow up on that, check it out. That's uh, basically Andrew Breitbart was had a heart attack mysteriously. Uh, the, just before he was supposed to release information on Obama during pre-election times. <laughs> Coincidental, just like Michael Hastings. If you haven't seen that, look into the mysterious death of Michael Hastings. We have a couple specials on it, and there are others also. Okay, our PCBS story of the day. Here we go. This is from the DailyCaller.com, and this is on 1021. Government blo- racial slur. Government blocks Asian-American ban from trademarking the slants. Hey, you know what? Maybe it is offensive. Maybe some Asians and some other people would take it as offensive. Some might not. But that's not the point. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Names will never hurt me. Cracker, cracker, cracker. Honky, honky, honky. You could call me that. You Fatty, fatty, fatty. I'm fat now. I could be losing weight. Hey. BS. Come on. We don't need nanny to protect us from everything. This group has a right to call themselves what they want. And you know what? Slants doesn't necessarily mean, you know, the pejorative, as some people might, slanty-eyed oriental or something. Slants, you know, many things are slanted. This angle is slanted. Maybe they're playing slanted. Maybe their music is slanted. Who knows? Come on. This is PCBS. Come on, guys. I mean, this is outrageous. How about a little communication and a little sensitivity to the rights of others? You don't like it? Turn your head. Don't listen. Don't like it. Come on. We can't be all protected from every evil at once. This is insane. And now our person slash people of the week segment. This week, it's Adam Kokesh and President John F. Kennedy. Let me explain why. John F. Kennedy, we're approaching the 50th anniversary of his assassination. Jesse Ventura has an excellent book out about this. Also, there's a little story about this on political.com and a poll where John F. Kennedy tops the presidential rating. This is uh, dated on 1015, and basically it goes on. It says, asked to rate all the presidents from 1950 to 2000 on a scale of 0 to 10. Kennedy scored the highest at 7.6. He was followed by Ronald Reagan at 6.9, Dwight Eisenhower at 6.8, and Bill Clinton at 6.7. None of the other presidents scored above 5.0. The reason I like Kennedy, and I think a lot of us did, is he took on, he took things on. He was probably killed for taking on the military-industrial complex, the uh, Federal Reserve, you know, and other things. He basically was rattling he was rattling the system there, and the bureaucrats and others weren't liking it. This, liking it. This is what Eisenhower just warned the country about and probably talked to him. One of the other reasons I like Kennedy, because he was bipartisan. I know he spoke and consulted with Eisenhower, put the nation first instead of politics. So God bless you, Mr. President, your soul. We pray for you. I mean, it was a horrible thing that would happen. It was probably <laughs> very likely a conspiracy. If you want to know more about that, go to Jesse Ventura's uh, book. Look him up, and you'll, I'm sure you'll find information there that will raise your hair. And our second person of the week is Adam Kokesh. We're going to be doing a lot more for Adam Kokesh. If you aren't aware of who he is, he's a liberty activist, a very good man. He's raising a lot of uh, feathers. He's been protesting the wars and protesting the system, nonviolent, peacefully, for liberty. Thanks for watching Hawaii Political Reporter. We'll see you next week. We will continue to work on and improve our format and look forward to serving you. And hopefully we can be a part of your 
uh, information quiver.